everyone, this is Nupur Tiwari, your performance coach, spiritual healer, motivational speaker and a philanthropist. But today I am going to talk to you as a yoga expert. There is a war. Yoga is the solution. There is a violence. Yoga is the solution. We want world peace. We can get it through yoga. You have heard these words, right? Yes, you have. Have you ever thought why we consider yoga is the solution of everything, even mental health? To understand the meaning and why we consider yoga is the solution for everything, we have to go back. Yes, we have to do some time travel. It is not only a few years ago, it is like 5,000 years ago. Some say 5,000, some even say 10,000. Let's do time travel. It's fun. It's fun. Trust me. So now we go back 5,000 years ago. We can see our ancestors. They're busy doing the experiment with our body, mind and soul to find the right way of living. Yes, they're experimenting. They're experimenting what is good for our body, what food, what thought process, what kind of posture can give us immortality, though we are mortal being. Yes, yoga was invented in India 5,000 years ago, some say even 10,000, before any religions or belief system were born. So yoga has no relation with any belief system or any religion. Lord Shiva is our Adi Yogi or Adi Guru. We find yoga in Ramayana, in Mahabharata and Gita. And some scripts are totally devoted to yoga itself. So now we have to understand the meaning of yoga. There are innumerous meaning of yoga, but the most popular one is union. Union between yourself and divine self. At this sense, definitely yoga is helping us to find ourselves, to find the divine self and finding our potential, finding the meaning of our life and leading us to enlightenment. Now, according to Maharishi Patanjali, yoga consists of eight limbs. They are Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratahara, Dhyana, Dharna, and Samadhi. And Pratahara is kind of bridge between Antaranga and Bahiranga Yoga. So now we are coming to the yoga. The yoga, what we do. When you think about yoga, you think about Chakrasan, Vakrasan, Dhanurasan, all the asanas we do, right? But yoga is not only about Vahiranga Yoga or not only Hatha Yoga. Yoga, there since ancient, ancient time, six kind of yoga we have been practicing. And these are Dhyan Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Karma Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Raj Yoga, and Mantra Yoga. So these six kinds of yoga are very important for human body, mind, and soul. So let's wake our Buddha up. Let's do this journey to enlightenment through yoga with Nupur I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, love yourself, and spread lots of love. Thank you.